What is up, everybody? Today, it is a rainy Sunday afternoon, and we got something pretty cool for you. Another day in the life with Steven Wonderboy Thompson, and we're gonna have some fun today. Me, my brother, uh, a buddy of mine, who you'll meet in a second, we're doing a gun competition over a 40 mile hike. It's gonna be ridiculous, but today we're gonna to be doing some shooting, we're gonna be preparing for it. So you guys are gonna be along for the ride. Let's go. What up everybody? Everybody, what's up everybody? <laughs> okay, so I'm loading up the vehicle now with the essentials. Number one, I have the one of my really cool setups here. This belt right here holds my mags, my clips. I just got obviously got my pistol here that I'm gonna be rocking. And I can't forget the zombie apocalypse ammo bag and of course the harry potter chamber of secrets audiobook can't forget that ha -ha! so we got the vehicle loaded up it's time to go we got to stop off at sweet t's house he's got to give me the old gopro so anyway let's go old sweet t aka bro bro little bro not really little but just my younger bro can't say little anymore because he's a lot bigger than me <laughs> And no, sweet tea, that's not a fat joke. I'm just gonna sit in front of his house and beep the horn and get his behind to come out. Let's do it! And we're here. We got the old Christmas decorations out. If it were me, I would keep my Christmas decorations up all year long. Tony. Is he taking a nap? 95% a possibility. There he is. What's up, sweet tea? I like the hair, man. <laughs> All right, sweet. What we got here? This is called a camera. Mm. Okay. Okay. This button turns it on. Okay. This button records. This is the lens. Make sure it's pointed Forcing at you. you. Now, what is this? What is this little thing here? This is a light. Oh, cool. Adjustable, just in case. Ah. Exactly. It's pretty bright. I may FaceTime me to find out how to work this thing again. So. Okay. There's only call two you. buttons. To push. So it's going to be too difficult. I think I can figure it out. Do the hair. Look at that. Who did that? This is my samurai. Cheers, my samurai top knot. All right, bro. <laughs> All right, dude. Love you, bro. Right. Uh, let's roll. We are here, <laughs> and it's raining, which is probably going to be in the same conditions we're going to be competing in next weekend outside. This is what Tony's going to be sleeping in uh, while we're there. <laughs> Let's go. What's up? You doing all right? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? You doing all right? Yeah, buddy. How about you? Vlogging all day. All right, guys. We are here with my man. Philip, who's gonna be competing in this competition with me this coming weekend. It's gonna be amazing. Why it's gonna be amazing? Cause, well, as you know, I've been preparing for a fight and I had zero preparation leading up to this competition. <laughs> this is literally the week of, and uh, we've gotten zero work in, and we're gonna be out there competing with professionals. People. Like some of the best in the world are gonna be at this tournament, and I'm winging it. This guy's done like five of them, <laughs> right? You done five? It's my fourth year. It's your fourth year. Yeah. I've had zero, and that's what's gonna make this thing very interesting. It's gonna be fun. So this is this is gonna be in Augusta, Georgia. Augusta, Georgia, Fort Gordon. And this is over uh, the course of three days. Three days. 40 mile hike with, how much do you think this pack weighs? About 50, 55. Everything that we need is gonna be in this pack. So we have a 40 mile hike, and we have to hit certain points yep. at a certain time. Yep. So what happens if we don't, it just, it just, no, nah, you get dropped. If you don't make it in time, you're oh, done. Oh, no, you're done for the rest done of the thing? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. okay, so as soon as we make our spots, we have a little competition, a little shooting competition. Yep. And I know it's raining out there today, but we're going to send some some lead down, down the range today. Oh, check out the pooches. This is the puppy. <laughs> you got the puppy right here. Hi. Oh, my good. What kind of dog is, is Cat, it? Catahoula. A Catahoula? Yeah, I'm, an, um, I'm a puppy guy. So, we're gonna be rocking this thing 40 miles, gonna be sleeping 
in a tent. Really, let's go, man. We're gonna be sharing tents, let's do it, dude. Keep it warm. Sweet T is gonna be doing the filming. Now, Sweet T said he would only do this if he has a four-wheeler, so he doesn't have to ruck this bad boy. So, and this is what my man Sweet T is gonna be sleeping in while we're on the ground. Check this thing out. Tony's gonna be sleeping in luxury in this bad boy. Check this out. Got it this week. Tony, he got this just for you. <laughs> got the welcome mat here. Check this out, two beds? Yeah. Tony's got the rug down here, got two beds. Now this bed right here obviously turns into a table, right? It does. Turns into a table. Yeah. We got storage up here. This is definitely gonna be probably Tony's area. Man, he's got a full kitchen, sweet tea. He's got a refrigerator. Got a fridge? Yeah. Got the fridge, look at that. Yeah. Fridge or freighter? Heat and AC. You got the heat and AC sweet tea. You got the little, can, a little uh, for rack. food wine rack. <laughs> Man, you have no idea. Tony, you got it made, dude. You got it made. This is what you get to come back to yeah. while we're sleeping on the ground. Oh, you got your toilet? You got your commode? Tony can't use that. No, Tony, there's a weight limit to this commode <laughs> and you can't use it. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna be sleeping on the ground. Tony, you're gonna be living it up. Bye. Oh, guys. I'm like addicted to off-grid living. I can sit there and watch that stuff all day. This is Tony, you get to experience that in this bad boy. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so we're gonna go out here and put some lead down range. And this is, we're pretty much in the environment that's gonna be this pack coming weekend. It's raining, it's a little chilly. We got, I got my rain jacket on. If you can tell, I got a little cap going, looking, looking sharp. And we're gonna do some shooting. I'm gonna be the secondary shooter. My buddy, my buddy Philip is primary shooter. He'll be shooting all the way out to what? What do you think? 1,200 yards? And I think the farthest I'll be shooting out to is about 800 yards. So yeah, you're looking at pros, uh, even though it's my first competition. Um, we're gonna win this thing. I think the prize winner is what? $4 million? <laughs> I wish. 4.2 mil, you know? So, you know, whatever. We'll go out there and have some fun. So my man, Phillip's got a pretty cool setup here, actually. What's up, buddy? You're so cute. So Phillip's gonna put me through a, a scenario. Tell me what I gotta do. So I got you a mag. I don't know, you don't know how many rounds are in there. Okay. You're gonna engage the target, as soon as it's empty, you gotta drop the mag, change, and continue on. Oh, Lord. So it kind of puts you under a little pressure of mag change. And that may happen during the competition. If it does, you gotta be ready for it. Oh. Yep. Under pressure, you forget things. When yeah. You shoot. So you might not realize how many shots you've already taken, you're not counting. And next thing you know, you're out and you gotta switch and change mags. So it's good to practice. Cause there are some targets that you will have to engage and hit before you can move. Okay. And they make them difficult. So you'll go through a lot of rounds before you even know it, trying to get that target. Yeah. So it's good to practice a, a mag change under pressure. All target. right. So a quick little uh, tip on mag change, whenever you're shooting and you're done, just mash that button and let the mag hit the ground. Grab the other one and put it in. You can let them okay. lay on the ground. Woo! All right, shooter ready? I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, engage. Go. That's hard. Yeah. That is hard. <laughs> as soon as it went click, I'm like, oh, okay, what do I do? It was a split second. I was like, okay, I gotta react. Yep. So that is difficult, man. I'm gonna rack this back. Yeah, rack it back and lock it. Okay. Okay. Mag in. Boom. Yep. Empty. There you go. And Ready to go. Good to go. To get my hands back to position is what's. Yep. Oh, I got that on video too. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. You saw that, right? You saw that. You didn't know I could do that. Okay. All right. So he doesn't know how many rounds are in the mag. No, I do not. I don't right. have. I don't have a clue. All right. So you're gonna shoot when it's empty. Drop the mag, switch, and keep engaging. You got it. All right. Shooter, ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Engage. Oh no! Oh no. no. hell! Drop it. Oh, drop, drop, drop it. There 
Dude, that is harder than it looks, man. I thought I would have had it pretty easy, but that's, that's difficult. And you know it's gonna be cold, and your hands probably aren't gonna work like yeah. they're supposed to. Yeah. So oh, Friday morning is gonna be 27 degrees. 27 degrees. Yeah. And I don't do well with cold. I'm skin and bones. I don't do well with cold, guys. <laughs> so this thing is my uh, 556. Yep. It's got an MK12. Daniel Defense Mark 12. This thing is awesome. It is suppressed for the competition. Got the rugged suppressor in that bad boy. Now the scope, <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. This is the Vortex, yep. which I love. And this is the first time I want to be able to shoot this bad boy since I got it. Phil's had it. He's he's um, got it sided in and everything all the way up to mm -hmm. 850 yards, y'all. Yep. All right, let's do this bad boy. So I have to hold this with one hand like this and shoot my targets to 850 yards. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is literally the first time I've shooting this thing. Yep. Okay. Wow, that's uh, hey. obviously the, having the safety off helps. <laughs> there it is. Now, which one am I shooting here? That's the 125 target. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. It's the it's this way yeah. that I have to work on. Yeah. The up and down's fine, but the moving from side to side, especially when you're zoomed in like that. One trick. This little spot right here. Yeah. Put that on the handrail. Oh, okay. Now that locks you in a little tighter. Wow, look at the look in the learning the, the tricks. And then you can mash your shoulder into it and it stabilizes it. But yeah, shoot oh, just like yeah. that. Much better. All right. Wow. Feel a little better? Yeah, much better. All right. There it is. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Man. You like it? I love this thing. Me this too. thing's sick. It's a good gun. This thing is really nice. Safety on. That's it. Dang. This thing is sick, man. This thing thing. is so sick. It is. Well, there you have it, guys. A little sample of what's going to be like this coming weekend. And I'm anxious to see how I'm going to go into this bad boy with literally zero training. I'm a little nervous. At the same time, a little excited. And we're just going to go out there and have some fun. So if you want to see how a professional athlete handles the Mammoth Sniper Challenge, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. Catch you guys later. Peace.